Welcome back to the Caribou Data Science Channel. It's the it's uh, October the second, twenty twenty. I'm getting ready to run my daily report for the uh, COVID nineteen report for the country of Israel. So let's go ahead and run this report and see exactly what's going on. Okay. As you can see, the mortality rate continues to remain fairly low in Israel, under 1% on average. I mean, once again, we have these spikes here, but there's a lot of days where there's not the spike that great. And even if we come up to here, it's still only 2%. You know, obviously, this is, the problem is these, is these spikes here. We're not quite sure why those are there. But, uh, but overall, the mortality rate in Israel isn't that bad. On average, because this is the average, right? Let's look at cases. As you can see here, the line is a low S line. Okay, and, and you can see underneath here the uh, the seven day moving average, the fourteen day moving average. Which is saying what? The lowest line is saying a continuous increase in, in cases, even even taking into account the volatility. But this blue line probably has something to do with the with the air. I should look that up one of these days. Here's the deaths by day. You can see the deaths are continuing to climb. There is the It is sort of interesting how this is fairly close here, but over here, this starts earlier than here. But anyway, they both could, they are, they're both showing an upward trend in, uh, in deaths. Okay, this is deaths since July. So we're seeing the deaths are around 40 to 50, you know, some spikes up here above 50, but for the most start, but for the most part, the deaths are staying below 50. Okay, all, all these deaths here are below 40. So it remains to be seen what's going to happen in the next couple of days, whether that's going to continue to trend upward or whether, you know, I guess the question is, when will we actually see the cases and deaths decline as a result of the two-week lockdown? The obvious question is, will two-week lockdown really make that much difference long-term? Okay? I'm skeptical. Okay, now here's the cases. Okay, so here's the deaths by date. And here's, and here's the deaths by date. No, well, sorry, these are the deaths since July 1st, or June 1st. Cases by date, deaths by date. Okay. Cases by date since June 1st, continuing to spike upwards. Oh, we have a little drop there. Uh, deaths since... July 1st, continue to spike upward up to 50 here. Although, although most of, most of the, for most of the period, it's been below 40. Okay. Non, these are averages by week. You can see that the cases, this week's cases have already passed last week's cases. So that's not good, but Deaths are continuing to remain relatively flat, okay? Except for two weeks, the deaths were, were below 100 per week, or 100 or less per week. Monthly, monthly cases? Monthly cases really rocketed past, uh, uh, you know, July and August cases for Israel. But as you can see, October... Well, this this is probably the halfway mark to here. So October's deaths so far, 
cases so far is about probably uh, you know 20,000 cases so far. Deaths, as you can see, September deaths passed July and August deaths by a pretty good margin, and we are and we're already close to 100 deaths so far for the month of October. So overall, you know, I think, well, I'm not really sure. Uh, to some extent, the deaths aren't really looking that bad right now, I don't think. I mean, after all, you, you know, Israel is a pretty small country, so it's, it's easy for the numbers to seem to take on a, uh, a larger appearance on the plots. Let's see, you know, but anyway. So that takes care of Israel. So let's just go and update the web page. And as always, there will be a link in the, in the description below to both the data, uh, the web page, and the R code. So that takes care of Israel. We'll be back with you in just one minute for the next report.